the number one question phone call that we get at Recreational Motorsports every day of the week in the winter is how can I take my stock 200 snowmobile and make it go faster? The kids are getting bored. Well, in front of you, you see a pile of parts. So what we're going to do is we're going to separate them out here. I'm going to start from the beginning. I'm going to tell you what you need to buy first and what it does for you. And we'll work our way to the end. At the end of the video, we'll have pictures and part numbers of each of the products that we discussed. So let's get started. First thing we have in front of us is track clips, graphite high facts, and we also have a graphite spray. We buy this from John Deere, but we sell it. It's probably one of the best sprays on the market. Okay, so what do the high facts do for me? Well, you have plastic high facts currently, and if you have a big sled, you realize that if you're riding in any kind of limited snow, the high facts will start to stick to the clips. So we go to graphite, which reduces that tremendously. The next thing is, is there is 36 track clips missing off of your 200 snowmobile. Every other one is missing. So when you ride that snowmobile and the, in the, where the clips are missing, you've got rubber on the high facts. The hotter it gets, it's like 10 little brake pads every time the track goes around trying to stop the sled. We also have a graphite spray. Like I said, this is something that we actually purchased it from John Deere. It's not something we make, but it's an exceptionally good spray. And we spray it on the track clips. You take graphite slides and graphite spray on the clips you've, and add a little snow dust to it and it makes a very, very slippery condition. Now, I will tell you on all the products that I'm going to talk about, this is probably the most labor intensive, but it's probably the most important one. The track clips do need a special tool. Uh, we sell one. If you see it on our website and your buddy has one, you wouldn't have to buy it. But we'll also list that at the end of the video. So this is the number one thing to buy. Second, the problem is with 200s when they were built, they had a misaligned clutch by approximately a quarter inch. What we sell is an inexpensive alignment tool. We sell it with instructions to show you how to use it. And it also comes with some shims in the bag so you can shim your clutch. What this will do is this will let your belt alignment be proper, reduce the heat and wear on your belt, and achieve less friction. That's number two. Number three, there's going to be changes for the model you hear. If you have an 18 or 19 200, the very first thing that you want here is to get yourself a pilot jet kit. That's for the low speed jet, helps throttle response, and an adjustable main jet kit. What that does is go in the bottom of your carburetor and it lets you adjust the main jet to the proper fuel measurement. Everything is listed in the instructions how to do it, and it's not that complicated. It's a little time consuming, but it's well worth it. If you have a 2020 sled or newer to current date, we sell a jet kit. We do this because the carburetor is different on a 2020 to newer sled. It will do the same thing. It will help mid-range and it will help top end. Idle quality will be better. And I might add, any time that you're using fuel in a 200, you want to take and you want to use 87 octane fuel. So here is the kits that you'd use there. That's number three. Those three items work very well, and you're going to see probably two to four mile an hour gain overall. Um, and I can't stress enough, if you have a new sled, you need to give it time to break in. After about 300 miles, the track loosens up, all the bearings loosen up, and you're automatically going to get some speed. Now, number four, this is a little more expensive, a little more extreme, but it works very well. It's not that complicated to install. This is our speed gear kit. We make two kits here. The one that you want is the speed gear kit, not the ultimate gear kit. This kit will add three, or excuse me, five to seven mile an hour to the speed with minor clutch adjustment. This will take off just like a stock sled and still give you five to seven mile an hour more. Uh, like I said before, this comes complete with instructions. Um, other than that, those are the four key things that you can do to a 200 to make it a, a fun sled for your kids. Pick up your speed so you're in the 35 mile an hour range and they can ride it all day long. All these parts are easy to install. Some take a little more time, but as far as high tech to install, they're not. So now that we're at the end of the video, please stay on the video and we're going to show you pictures of the part numbers of each product and we're going to do it in the order that you need to purchase it. We keep all of these in stock on a normal basis. 
So like before, if you need any questions answered, feel free to email us or call our tech line and we'll be glad to get back to you. I don't always get to you right away, but I always return my calls and I always return my emails. So I hope this helped you, eliminated a lot of questions without having to call and uh, happy snowmobiling.